Alrighty. I forgot to bring the scorecard, so this is all just in fun. We're going to be bowling at the world's toughest candlepin alley here at High Tech Lanes in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. Hello, Nico. So, I only got about 20 or so minutes before I have to pack everything up and what have not, because it's my lunch. So let's get started. Oh, and there's no pins or balls. So that being said, for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the GF2 in action. Yeah, since I forgot to bring the scorecard, we're not really keeping score much. And the angle is low because I had it up higher, but you could kind of see a uh, trademark logo, so I don't want it clear. Actually, I can move you a little more this way. This place makes masons look easy. All right, we got eight. We're not gonna have time to get a full game in. Yeah, that always comes off. So that would be a nine, which would make that a 17.
unfortunately, I may not have time to read comments because time. <laughs> Doesn't that look familiar? So that would be a 724. Just for the record, the only time you'll see this is on Fridays if the weather is good, no chance of rain whatsoever, and if the wind is forecasted less than 15 miles an hour. So 10 to 15 might be too much. Well, instead of washout, we got a Kaleri. So that's an eight, 24, 30 to 32. How does that happen? You throw the ball 27 feet down the lane, hit your object pin, and you get penalized. How does that happen? In case you can't see it, the normal lane is kind of blocked off. So we were forced to go a lane down. That's a seven with a 32, that's 39. To be honest, I even lost track of what frame number it is, so whatever.
By the way, I actually did measure the width of the parking spaces and they're nine feet each. So it is about 27. If not, maybe the pins are more towards 28. Calling God's middle finger for nine, so we have a 39, 49, 48. Some of the pins don't like some of the spots that I put them in. One ball too late, 59. By the way, you're doing good if you actually can get a mark here at High Tech Lanes. Those are very far and few between. At the Chelmsford location, my high single is an 82, and my low somehow is as high as it is, a 61. Yep, at high tech lanes, that's a thing. Ooh, no, too far right. And an eight, fifty nine, sixty nine, sixty seven. I believe the next frame would be the last one, judging by how many pins I've knocked down.
again, keep in mind, it's weather dependent. Winds have to be forecasted less than 10 to 15 miles an hour. I mean, if the gusts are predicted 12 or so, we can let it live. And there can't be any rain in sight, so don't expect these every Friday. In fact, if we miss one, chances are the way Mother Nature works, there'll be a string of them in a row we'll be missing. And we have strings in a row that we do it. Last one. And that's out of play. That's more than two feet in front of the head pin position, leaving us the double P knuckle. Prune juice for everybody. All right, so 67, 77, 65, 74. That's actually a higher gain than I usually get here. So that'll be it, a 74 here at High Tech Lanes in Chelmsford, Massachusetts, the world's toughest candle pin bowling alley. And like I said, don't expect them every Friday, but if the weather cooperates, which is not often, and in strings usually doesn't or will. Georgia 551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.